Hi there, D.W. Berman here for Liberty 3D, where we have a, a little thing running now. The Lightwave plugin of the week. This week's plugin is Next4D's Rope Editor Plus. Now this is a pretty old plugin, so there's no uh, Lightwave 64-bit support, and there's no Mac support. So those are the two big problems. However, uh, I'm running the demo of this software on uh, Lightwave 10.1, uh, the release build for the modeler. Or, or so uh, it's actually working pretty well for being such an old plugin. Uh, basically, this plugin is for making ropes and rope like things. However, if I look at the gallery, you can see that uh, we can do some things other than just ropes, like a uh, fluorescent spiral lamp and. Uh, these flying pipes and well lots of different things so let's uh, get into the plugin and um, take a look at it what we need to start with is a two-point polygon I can make that by just making some points and let me switch to my wireframe mode so I can see those points and uh, let me just quickly connect the dots select two polygons or two points and hit P to make polygons. So there I have a small chain of two point polygons. Let me split this one. Or knife through it. There we go. Now I just need to click on rope editor and it looks like a mess, but that's because I'm in wireframe mode. Let's switch over to texture mode. You can see I have a small little rope and I can adjust the rope by moving these points around. These uh, two-point polygons basically act like a uh, control spline. And uh, makes it pretty easy to shape this stuff. Looks like I might need another control point, but we'll just deal with that. Uh, some of our uh, options for this... Oops. Some of our options for this... Or we can control the number of strands that make up this uh, rope. Oh, I don't have the tool selected. There we go. You can select the number of strands. And you can have a solid core. Um, we have the unit length to diameter ratio. Let me see if this gets a little bigger. Yep. And uh, twists per unit. I'm guessing each segment of the uh, thing is a unit, or maybe not. Not sure how that's calculated. I haven't fully read the instructions. Um, we can select a certain name for our uh, new rope. You can uh, give your rope a part name, which is pretty important. If you're dealing with lots of ropes in your scene, you don't want to accidentally uh, overwrite the values of another rope. And you have, uh, also with this plugin, we have this nice little rope manager, which lets you uh, select, have this little drop down to select uh, the different ropes you're working, working on. Uh, you have options for setting up your UVs on your rope. Uh, there's a nice uh, video in the tutorial section on the uh, Next4D website that shows making candy canes with a nice little twist on it. Um, we also have the options to add skeletons to our scene. Oh, there. Add skeletons to our rope. That way we can control our rope in uh, in Lightwave by converting those skeletons to bones. And last, I'll just show you some of the presets. We have some rope presets and a steel cable preset. And if I change the scale of this, it might look a little more like a steel cable. And, uh, you know, a solid pipe, a spiral cord like those old uh, telephone lines, and uh, spring. You can make a spring, and it's stopping here probably because this is just a demo version. It's a, a limited thing. If you buy the full license, you can do longer ropes. And finally, twisted wire. So that's like your old phone cord, the inside of the phone cord. And if I adjust this strand of diameter, you can, you know, make it even smaller. And there you have it, a, a quick little guide for a uh, quick little overview of Rope Editor Plus.